Fei Fei is a young girl who loves to hear the story of the moon goddess Chang'er from her mother named Ruthie. Long ago, the beautiful and kind Chang'er and a handsome man named Hu Yi were in love, but one day she took a magic potion and floated away, leaving her true love behind. She waited for him on the moon above. Every day, Fei Fei's parents run a small bakery for a living. Fei Fei dreams of becoming an astronaut so she can fly herself to the moon to meet the goddess one day. As Fei Fei grew older, Ruthie decided to teach her to make their special family mooncakes. Not long after Ruthie became ill and they spent their last moments together at the same lake. Ruthie gifted a gorgeous rabbit to Fei Fei as a memory. Four years later their business is doing well and Fei Fei delivers many mooncakes to her customers as usual. Her father tells her to come home early because there will be a guest that evening. When she returns home she wonders why her father used red dates for the mooncakes, which is different from Ruthie's recipe. Later she finds out that Mrs. Zhang, a guest, is already there. Fei Fei is disappointed with her father as she doesn't want to see him dating another woman besides her mother. Suddenly a young boy named Chin appears to annoy Fei Fei. He introduces himself as Mrs. Zhang's son and tells Fei Fei that he has a superpower which is running into a wall. Shortly after Fei Fei's family arrives at her house and her aunt brings hairy crabs for her as they are her favorite. While preparing dinner, Fei Fei becomes furious as her dad and Mrs. Zhang are being too intimate with each other. At that moment, as her aunties hear Fei Fei's fondness for Chang'er, they immediately insult the goddess of the moon, calling her selfish. They say that when the robbery broke into her her house to steal the immortality pills, she took all of them by herself, instead of saving one for Hu Yi who was off fighting demons. That made her float to the moon alone and leave Hu Yi behind. Mrs. Zhang state her mother told her that she might be related to Hu Yi. As her aunties mention, the story is a myth. Fei Fei argues with them believing that it is real and accidentally messes up their meals. While going to her room, Mrs. Zhang brings a dessert for Fei Fei, wanting her to taste her special mooncakes from her hometown. However, Fei Fei complains as she doesn't want Mrs. Zhang to be part of their family and wants things to go back to the way they were. Her dad now also doesn't believe Chang'er is real as he used to. Fei Fei starts her project to build a rocket and will prove to everyone that Chang'er is real. She spends day and night searching for a formula on how to do it and later comes up with an idea. She asks her dad to buy tools for her science project, orders astronaut sets and some fireworks and tests to see if they could fly higher, but it doesn't go as she expects. While at school she realized she could use magnetic levitation as a force to speed up the rocket and add power, lift, and duration, which might finally enable her to fly her rocket. She then started to build a large rocket following her formula and placed magnetic levitation on a railroad to pull her rocket. When everything was done, she started the engine, but nothing happened. However, after a few seconds, her rocket started to speed up, and immediately she activated the flying mode which lifted the rocket out of the rail and headed to the moon. Unfortunately, the rocket power ran out, which revealed that Chin was also on the rocket with her. As they fell, the light from the moon suddenly appeared and captured the rocket, and two flying lions showed up to mess around with them. While they landed on the moon, the lion used its magic to make them able to breathe in space, and they took them to Lunaria, the kingdom of the goddess Chang'er. As they arrived, three talking mooncakes brought them to watch Chang'er perform a concert for her people. When the show ended, Fei Fei immediately went to hug Chang'er. Chang'er sent her lion to bring Fei Fei here because she thought Fei Fei brought her a gift that she wanted. She asked for it, but Fei Fei didn't know what it was as she came here just to take a photo with her and prove to everyone that she was real. Chang'er said Fei Fei had one thing with her that she needed to bring Hu Yi back. After Chang'er took a photo with Fei Fei, she then ordered Lunarians to find the gift for her. If Fei Fei brought the gift to her first, she could have the photo. As Fei Fei hurried to get the gift, Chin offered his help, but she rejected and also shouted at him as she never wanted him on this trip and never wanted him to be her brother. She then saw a chicken with a motorcycle and hopped on with them to ask for a ride, which they allowed her to come along as she told them she knew where the gift was. As Chin wanted Fei Fei to accept him as her brother, he later attempted to steal the photo from the mooncake. However, he got caught by Chang'er and revealed he wanted the photo for his sister. When he told Chang'er he knew where the gift was, she brought him into the interrogation chamber. In there, she challenged him to a ping-pong game, and if he wins, she would give him the photo, but if he loses, she wants the location of the gift. However, Chang'er was no match for Chin, as he was good at playing ping-pong. Chin hit his last strike to win on Chang'er, and she suddenly burst with anger as she just lost to a big fat boy and trapped him in that chamber. Since Chang'er was mad, meteors started to crash into the moon, and Fei Fei had a hard time escaping from the meteor. However, she still kept going and eventually they arrived at Fei Fei's rocket ship. At that time, she encountered a pangolin named Gobi in her rocket, who was a former trusted advisor of Chang'er. Not long after, she found the Chang'er doll that was a gift her mom had given her, and she assumed it was the gift that Chang'er was looking for. However, the chickens stole it from her to bring it to the goddess, and they left Fei 
Fei behind with Gobi. While walking, they encountered big frogs that came out of the ground, and Fei Fei grabbed Gobi's tongue as a rope to climb on top of the frog. As the frogs flew to Lunaria, Fei Fei would catch up to the chickens in no time. However, she wondered why Gobi was out here by himself. To his reply, he said he got exiled from Lunaria by the goddess because of a song he sang to her. Fei Fei realized Chang Er wasn't kind and gentle like her mom had told her, but Gobi said she was all those things until Hu Yi died, and she pushed everyone away. Soon after, Fei Fei caught up with the chickens and immediately went after them for the doll. While they fought for it, the doll suddenly got destroyed by the road that collided into the road they were on, but Fei Fei survived anyway. She was now upset about the doll and complaining that her dad would soon marry Mrs. Zhang, and she would have Chin as her brother, which she didn't like as he always annoyed her. But Gobi is different from Fei Fei. He always wanted to have a brother as he had been alone for thousands of years. When Fei Fei ate the mooncake that Mrs. Zhang made for her, she found the broken half-emerald symbol in her cake. She assumed Chin might be the one who put it in the cake, but later she realized it was the amulet that Chang Er was looking for. She quickly rushed to give it to her, and indeed it was what she was looking for. As she put the amulet back together, the atmosphere suddenly changed, and eventually Chang Er was reunited with her loved one, but it was just Hu Yi's spirit telling her to move on. Feeling sad, Chang Er turned the kingdom into darkness, and trapped herself alone in the chamber of exquisite sadness. Fei Fei could also go in there, but if she did, she might never come out again. Without hesitation, she went in and attempted to bring Chang Er back, but at that moment she saw her memories with her mom, which upset her. Chang Er came to comfort her as Fei Fei couldn't stay there as she would end up lonely for all eternity like her. She encouraged Fei Fei to move on, but Fei Fei didn't know how to do it. Chin then decided to use his superpower to break through the barrier and suddenly it worked. He asked Fei Fei to go back home, but she sang one last song for Chang Er to cheer her up. As everyone hugged her, she immediately lit up again, and the kingdom returned to normal. Finally, Fei Fei got the photo as she wanted, and Chang Er appreciated Fei Fei's hard work for bringing the gift to her. After everything was done, Fei Fei and Chin were sent back to Earth. However, her photo with Chang Er was burned, but she no longer cared about it. A while later, Fei Fei's father married Mrs. Zhang, and eventually she accepted them as her new family. In the end, they had a happy family dinner together on the Moon Festival. And this is it for this movie. If you enjoy this recap, don't forget to leave a like and comment. Also, subscribe so you don't miss out on my new video.